Now, it's hard to believe, but almost 10 million people now live in Israel. The Israeli Central Bureau of Statistics has just released its latest data showing that 9.6 million people, just about, now live here in Israel. And they say that the population is going to reach 15 million by 2048. So, you know, that is just 26 years away. And the question is, can this tiny little country physically handle this amount of people? Well, joining us now is our economic analyst and I-24 News host, Ariel Margalit. Break down what Israel's population looks like today. It's a good moment to pause a moment before Rosh Hashanah and take yeah. a look at what's happening here, how the demographics have changed and what hasn't changed. So there are 9.5, almost 9.6 million people, as you mentioned, living in Israel. As of today, out of them, 7 million are Jews. Two million are Arabs, that's both Muslim and Christian, and around 500,000 or so are others, yeah. other religions, uh, etc., or religious less people. Now, what's very interesting about that is that there are basically 7 million Jews, as we said, living here in, in Israel, 75% yeah. of the population. Mm -hmm. If you're looking at what's happening in the West Bank and Gaza, because the, they're not included in the numbers of the Israel Statistics Bureau, you have 3 million Palestinians living in the West Bank, you have 2 million Palestinians living in Gaza. That's according to recent estimates. That's 5 million in the West Bank and Gaza, 2 million Arabs living here in Israel. Basically, as we stand today, and it's been the case in Israel for many years now, the populations, the Arab and the Jewish one, between the Mediterranean and the Jordan Valley are, are the same, 50%. Yeah. 7 million Jews and 7 million Arabs both Christian and Muslim, that are divided between within the borders of the state of Israel right. and the West Bank and Gaza. So that brings me to my next question is, you know, what are economists and environmentalists saying about the population growth that we're seeing? Because what we do know is that tiny little Israel, which is about the size of New Jersey, is not physically getting any bigger. And we know that traffic has gotten worse. We know that there's not necessarily enough housing. How's this going to play out? Well, first of all, to be political, some would say that this is part of the reason for the expansion of Israel or the will to expand, at least in some of the political mm -hmm. map in Israel, towards the West Bank. Right. There is a need in more territory. The Negev Desert is not very inhabited, the conditions there. Although you often speak here on the show of Israeli innovations, the conditions in the Negev Desert are not very benefiting of, of human life just yet. Just and also we need some space just to breathe and the desert is where to do that. Uh, what we're seeing on the ground, mostly in the center of the country, is construction uh, to the height. You know, Israel is becoming a, a land of uh, skyscrapers all along the coast, you can see them. Yeah. And this is what Israel is basically doing. There is less and less reserves of land that is inhabitable, that is being uh, actually uh, diverted into new construction. There is a little bit, and there's large arguments in the government, of course, about what sort of lands go to construction, how much areas to leave open, mm -hmm. etc. But building height towers, that's, that's where it stands at the moment.